Today I will show you how you can bend a road in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really cool episode. Today I will show you one really cool and simple trick how to bend the road in Photoshop and later you can build on that image whatever you want. You can create some really cool photo manipulation out of this. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is the image that we will work on today. As you can see, just a simple street view with some vehicles right here and some empty part of the road down below. And this is really important to have empty part of the road on the lower part of the image to be able to apply this effect properly. You will see in a few moments why. You don't want to have some vehicles here or some people or whatever. And also you don't need to have like a street view road. You can have maybe some road in a forest or in some field or whatever. It's completely your choice but make sure when you're choosing the images for this kind of effect, make sure to have this part completely empty. Okay, so now to be able to bend this part of the road, I want to make a selection first. So I will go to rectangular marquee tool and just make a selection of the part of the road I want to bend. If I press and hold space bar, I can move my selection. So I will position my selection just below this car right here. And now I will make a copy of this selected part by pressing Ctrl or Command J. That's it. So this is my road number two. Okay. And what we need to do now is to enter transform tool to transform this part of the road by pressing Ctrl or Command T right click and go to perspective. And now all you need to do is to move these two, one of these two corners left or right down below to the inner, to the inside part like this and make sure to have those lines parallel. So this is it. I think this is okay. But also what I want to do now, let's just see. Okay, this is pretty good. Also, what I want to do now, because the road is stretched a little bit all the way down, I want to squeeze it a little bit more. So I'll go right click, distort and just move this center pin a little bit up until I'm satisfied, for example, here with the position of the with the shape of the bicycle guy. So this is pretty much OK and I will press OK. And here it is. We have a banded road, but now we have some empty space left and right and we need to crop that. I will go to a crop tool and choose aspect ratio four by five, like Instagram aspect ratio. So that's cool. And I will just crop this a bit like this. Probably I like it like this. Press OK. And this is it. If maybe you don't like it, if you say, OK, I have to a big part of the road right here or to uh, maybe small part of the road, you can go always and recrop it. But for now, this is okay. And now all you need to do is to make this banded part of the road a little bit darker. And basically, this is it. So I will use curves and clip it to affect only the banded part of the road and just make it darker. As you can see, this is already really cool effect. I can go from normal blending mode all the way to luminosity because I don't want to make this even saturated while I'm making darker in the same time. So this is cool. But I want to go even further and to add even more realism to this banded part. So I will go and create another just empty layer, clip it to affect only this layer down below by holding Alt or Option key and click in between those two layers, as you can see. And now I will use a black color. Actually, I can use I can sample this color, go with the brush, press Alt or Option key and sample some dark color of the road go to change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And now I can just add maybe some shadows here just a second to make my brush darker, like like this. But I want to use instead of this regular soft round brush, I want to use my custom made cloud smoke dust brush because it has perfect imperfections, perfect imperfections, perfect for this type of job. If you want, you can purchase those set for just $1 at my website. You have the link down there in the description. All right. So right click, I will use this brush. And as you can see, it's great because it's not like constant shape. It's changing the shape all the time. And I like it. Also, I can make a brush a little bit bigger, maybe change 10% opacity and just add some shadows down below here and that's perfect. 
Also, if I zoom it, you can see the line of this is pretty straight and sharp. If you want, you can go right here again to the row number two, go to rectangular marquee tool and just select small portion of it, maybe something like this. Does this part and go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur and blur is for just one or so pixel. That depends on the image size. So for this image, one, 1.1, 1 .1, it's pretty cool. And another cool trick is you can go to the road down below to the main image, create a new layer and uh, just make another rectangular marquee tool selection. But I just want to select this small portion. So now I'm selecting just this portion between this road and this road because I will affect only that and use a white color. And again, my cloud brush and just paint it with maybe even 50% opacity. I will just paint this line right here. You will see nothing, nothing special. If I deselect, I have this line right here, but now it's too much and I need to blur it. So I will go again to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe blur it even more. So you can see to blend it a little bit better like this and maybe lower the opacity. So now I have really nice and cool transition. This is before, this is after. I love this type of transitions. I can even go to overlay blending mode. Okay, and lower the opacity before and after. Just a simple, small touch to this. I can even add a layer mask and erase this part because this part is more in the shadows. So I can do this maybe erase this part so this is really cool and that's basically it guys now you can go and merge everything together with shift ctrl alt or shift command option e on a mac and go to filter camera right here and maybe do some color corrections i will not do anything fancy i'll just go with uh, contrast maybe dehaze it a bit open shadows a bit lower the saturation and maybe add a little bit more textures and i can change here to the calibration tab, I can change some colors to maybe more orange and teal effect, lower the blue, saturation of the blues and maybe add a vignette. So that's, that's basically it, press OK. And as you can see before and after, but still really cool effect. And now you prepared your image, you can finish it like this and that's like your masterpiece. Or you just prepared your image for some future photo manipulation. You can now add maybe some cars from the top view on this part of the street or maybe some trees from the top view or maybe I'm just my brainstorming now maybe some ladders and guides uh, claim, uh, climbing up the ladders to the this upper part of the road or I don't know whatever somebody's hanging on this part of the road you can be really creative and make some really cool photo manipulation maybe you can add some portal on the road right here and maybe another one on the sky I don't know the limit is just your mind so just have fun experiment and play with this really really cool and really simple effect right guys so that's it if you like this episode if you appreciate this content just press the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring the bell to get notified about all the future episodes also guys if you have any questions regarding to this episode just leave me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it and uh, that's basically it. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.